Okay, in part 8 we will take a look at vertex painting in ZBrush and this will help us to get nice masks for texturing and we will be able to texture all of the elements separately like the mortar here, the rocks and the top rocks. Also the asset consists of just one mesh. And maybe a bit of insight here on how that works. So each vertex stores color information and the colors are blended across the surface of the mesh based on how the vertices are connected. But yeah, let's just skip the theory and let's take a look. So in order to be able to texture this properly and apply different materials to different parts of the mesh like for the mortar and the rocks, we'll need to have nice masks and to achieve this we will work with vertex colors. And to paint vertex colors in ZBrush is quite easy. So for example we take this mortar here and it's this piece. Let's solo it out. Actually, those are the rocks. Let's go for the mortar. And then we just need to click on this brush here. Then let's deactivate the add and activate RGB. Let's take a red color. So fully red. And let's just paint over that. And just make sure to catch everything so that we don't have any gray spots anymore. This is quite a quick process and although you won't need those, let's just pay attention to um, paint the bottom at the top as well. Um, now let's quit the solo mode and choose our rocks. Let's solo this out as well and click on the brush here. Let's take a green color and just paint our rocks green. We can also do the inner bit, but that's not really needed. But let's just do it. And now let's take this plate here. So roll it out as well. Click on the brush and let's apply a blue color. So this is now basically finished. Let's do the same for those. Select the brush, solo it out, paint it blue. That looks good. So the next one, solo it out, brush and paint. Next one should be this. So this is the last one that's left. Same process, solo it out, click on the brush and paint it blue. Then we'll take this mortar here, solo it out and also take a red color. So as this project is not really organized well, I'll have some trouble here. Why isn't this blue? Seems we didn't paint that one. So let's just quickly do it. Okay, that looks good. Um, for the rocks, we'll do it soon. But let's first uh, maybe merge those parts together. Just make sure that they are nicely ordered. And then let's go to merge and merge down. So this is ju uh, now just one object. And again, as I didn't really organize this here, it will be a bit of a hassle. So I think it's best to export this now. So we go to export, let's choose OBJ, um, not OBJ, but FBX. And let's call it column LP, um, not LP, this is our high poly, so HP. And let's leave everything as is and just click OK. And as that's quite a high poly mesh, this will take a while. So I'll make a quick cut.
So after the mesh exported, um, we can delete this. Just make sure to have a copy of your file if you want to keep it. And again, this is probably because I didn't really organize that well. So yeah, we have to do some weird stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, let's just select that and go to delete and just delete that. We can merge all of those together. So we select the top one and go to merge down again. So this is now just one part. And we can also merge it with the mortar. Okay, then what we need to do is to click on the eye here. So we only have the rocks visible. Let's maybe quickly set a different color. And then let's go to merge visible. So this will merge all of our rocks together. But the problem here is that all of those rocks will stay unseen. So let's just select this one. And as those are already merged in a separate subtool, we just can delete those by going to delete and press delete other. But keep in mind that you have to have this one selected. So let's use delete other. So this will now get rid of all the rocks. Then let's go to append and append our newly created merged rocks. Then we can again press the brush, solo them out and paint them in a green color. Just make sure that we have the green applied nicely over all of the rocks. Again, the inner part here and the bottom is probably not really important because you won't see it anyway and this will be deleted later on when optimizing or remeshing the wall. Now we can merge those together as well. Just use merge down. And then we go to export and call that our wall HP. And again, just press OK. So again, this will also take a while. And I think that's all for ZBrush. I'll make a cut here. And in the next step, we're going to remesh this in InstaLot. So with this video, we finished the ZBrush part of the series. And in the next one, as mentioned, we will be using InstaLot to remesh the whole asset. And then we go over to texturing. So as always, thanks for watching and see you soon.